your mom. Your mom. Your mom. Oh, they have a balcony. That's adorable. I'm just gonna leave those doors open so the villagers have a chance of dying. I was about to say, keep the doors closed. The villagers can get eaten. Oh no. Anyway, um, have we explored everything in this village? Um, I believe so. Do you want to head back to the meteor then and see if the skeleton's still there? Sure. I just want to check, yeah, chemical eggs. It is mutant monsters or mutant creatures or whatever. We can make those things. Like, we can mutate mobs into those things. I didn't think they spawned naturally. Genuinely a shock. Okay, I'm back at the village. I can't see the skeleton yet. So I think he might have wandered off. We should be safe. Do you know the spell Gust? Gust? Yeah. How do I check what spell I know? Um... What are you? Chupacabra? El Chupacabra? <gasps> Chupacabra? It's healing! It's healing! It's healing! It's healing! I have two hearts! It's healing! Whenever it bites you, it heals! I'm leading it to the automaton. Why is everything on this planet trying to kill us? I like, I like your funny words, magic man. <laughs> Where's the chupacabra? It's dead. I led it to the automaton. Oh. It heals when it bites you. If you want to kill it, you can't let it bite you. Uh, where's the skeleton? Uh, how do I check what spell I have? I don't know. Then how did you know that you had Gust? Because I have the book right here. and I'm wondering if you it, had it. It didn't give me a book at all. It just said I learned a spell and that was it. Come here. Hold on, I'm getting these rubies. Listen, I know you like the guy, but come here. Shut up. Wait, is this canonically what? set before or after Anadonia? Um. Hmm. After? Well, I mean, the very. I'm gonna say the very implication that I know of him means it has to be set after, so, uh. After. Let me spoil how the entire series ends for everyone. To be fair, this probably won't be up later until the series ends. Shut up, I'm good at this. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so this says Gust. When I right-clicked my spellbook, it disappeared in my hand. Yeah. So, what does this even do? Oh, I learned a new spell. Yeah, it does it. And, and now... it disappeared. Ow. Why would you do that? I'm already on low health. Fine, take some fucking apples. I have food. It's just shit. <laughs> I mean, bad. I mean, do apple. dookie. Apple. It's... Hey Apple, hey it's, Apple, it's, hey it's Apple. It's silly. I hate so TOS so much. We know. Are you gonna help me mine this coal or? No. Why? I'm busy. With what? We food. have nothing else I'm, to do right now. I'm getting us food. We have food, we spawned with it. Oh yes, because that 10 bread is going to last us so long. I'll have you know, I have 23. I'm gonna go get us some food. Okay. So, um, are we just following the quest book for this mod pack then? Possibly. Because I, I've only had a chance to glimpse at it, but it's a very big one from the looks of it. Um, and then at the bottom it says, Welcome to Prominence. I've earned myself 7 XP. Yay. Let's see. I've done that. Totally. I've done that. And I haven't done that yet. There we go. Uh, so, the have you crafted a chest yet? Uh, no. Crafting a chest is like the first official quest that you have to actually put effort into doing. Um, press K and you can bring up your chest, uh, not chest, your skill book thing. Let me turn my brightness up first. Oh, one moment, my mom's calling me. Oh my god. Turn your phone off, it's so unprofessional to have it on while no. recording. No, no, like, she's calling me. 
Go yeah. downstairs. I'll be right back. Simply just duct tape her mouth closed. Uh, okay, so while Z is gone, I am obviously the sole beneficiary of entertainment around these parts. Um, however, I understand that mining coal um, in the rain, not exactly the, um, the most entertaining thing in the world. So after I've grabbed a couple more pieces, just enough, uh, let, let's round it up slightly, shall we? Uh, one more for good luck, and then one more for more good luck, and then one more for more good luck, and then two more for a little bit more good luck. And, oh, what's this? This is lead. Let's take lead because, um, I don't know, something, something lead poisoning. Uh, there we go. And let's take another block of coal. And let's take another block of coal. And let's take another block of coal. And I believe maybe I might have the smallest, smallest inklings of an addiction at the works. I thought that was a skeleton. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so while we sort of traverse back to the cabin that we decided to take over as ours, I can maybe introduce this mod pack to you in just a little bit more detail. So, this mod pack is an unedited version of Prominence 2, uh, which runs on Fabric, uh, version 1.20.1 uh, of Minecraft, which is mind-blowing. We've jumped up a whole bunch of versions. Uh, than what we're used to. And it's primarily a tech and exploration focused mod uh, with a heavy um, sort of lean on, uh, I believe it's nomad nomadism or being a nomad or, or something like that, uh, according to the mod page where we downloaded this from. Um, so even though we do have a base of operations currently, the whole sort of uh, appeal to this mod is supposed to be sort of wandering around and um, moving all different places and such. So I'm not sure how those two are really going to work in tandem with each other, uh, especially considering we do have quite the few decorational uh, mods in this mod pack. Um, but I suppose we'll just sort of find that out. Uh, as it uh, comes along. Now, I am quite familiar with most of the mods in this uh, mod pack. Void Z, never heard of that one before though, so that'll be a first. Uh, but the rest of these, like Applied Energistics and uh, Industrial Revolution and Tech Reborn and uh, what else do we have in here? Actually, to be fair, so far I ran through three separate pages there and I didn't recognize Stoneworks at all. I recognize Traveler's Backpacks. I, I don't recognize Twigs. Uh, I definitely don't recognize the uh, Souls-like weaponry stuff, but I have played with uh, the Souls-like mod uh, in this mod pack before. And while I don't know much, if anything, about it, I know that it is a really well-put-together mod and it is genuinely impressive. Um, especially with the different levels of uh, sword and stuff that you can get. <laughs> I've also just uh, noticed that we have the master sword here, um, which can actually be smithed using a lord soul and a smithing upgrade, which is interesting. I've never played with the smithing stuff. I've never played 120 before, so that that's going to be a learning curve. Um, Simply swords I've played with before. It's a very common mod in mod packs like this. Um... I've never played with the Seasons mod, although I know about it. Uh, Tech Reborn, again, I, I, I've dipped into that one before. Regions Unexplored, never played, but I'm guessing it's like a uh, Oh, the Biomes You'll Go or a Biomes the Plenty uh, sort of clone. Power, I've played with before, although I've never really used it, so this might be my first introduction uh, to heavily using the mod. Plushy, never used, but that is very cute, and I'm definitely making a ton of these. Uh, Philip's Ruins, never heard of. Paladins and Priests, certainly never heard of. Nether Depths, uh, nope. Mythic Upgrades, also nope. A Mythic Mount, certainly not. Um, Modern Industrialization, I've played with that one. Uh, I've definitely dipped my toe into that. Mine Cells, 
Not a chance. Never even heard of that one. Tengo gorditas. Um, welcome back. I, I've just been going through uh, all of the mod uh, mods in the mod pack. I've been going through a GEI listing, uh, seeing all the listings. There is a lot of stuff in this mod pack. Um, it's definitely RPG focused. Uh, I found a couple of things that you're definitely going to enjoy. For example, there is Ninja Turtle armor. <gasps> Um, no, no, yeah. no, stop, stop, stop there, stop there. There is Ninja Turtle armor. Um, as well as that, there is also mounts, so you can mount a giant moth, a griffin, a uh, lizard, um, a gecko, uh, and a nether bat, and a, a czar patak, whatever that is. You can oh, mount that's, a that's dragon. the one that, um, okay, so in the last um, test world we made, I found mm. a, it's a dark attack and named it uh, Periwinkle. Oh, well, you can also mount a dragon, which um, so I like the idea of that. Um, <laughs> shut up. There's all. Oh, he. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> there's the plushie mod where you can craft plushies of all the different mobs in the game. Which I think is adorable. Um, there's some mod there's a couple of mods that I recognize, uh, and there's some that I'm definitely used to. There's some that we've all seen before, like uh, Simply Swords, which uh, Forge Lamps uses that one a lot um, in his mod packs. Find a bomb. Uh, but there, there's the Master Sword from Zelda that you can get. There's the Crucible Sword, I believe that's from Doom. Um, there, there's really just a ton of stuff in here. Honestly, it's it's impressive how much oh, there is. Oh, I forgot is. my drink. One second. You mother... I'm so professional. Tea. Uh, okay. But anyway... I'm dirty. All of that aside, uh, the rain appears to have stopped now. I can actually not hear anything for the first time in ages, which is honestly just brilliant. Mm. Uh, but now that I have a moment to myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, red garnets. Wait, what? Mining rubies gives you red garnets. What do red garnets do? Uh, let's see. They can make a block of red garnet. You can use them for detailing. You can put them in a grinder for dust and a macerator for dust. And a... I, 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 I don't... What? You know what? I don't even know what this means. Uh, but what can you do with garnet dust? With garnet dust, you can make... Wow! <laughs> with garnet dust, you can make a small pile of garnet dust. Honestly, mind blown. Um, you can also use it to make uh, pyrope dust, almandine dust, and spessatine dust. Uh, you can use it to make a garnet plate. You can use it to make... You know, the full garnet with a small pile of enderite dust or dark ashes. And you can compress it into plates. What are the plates used for? The plates are used for nothing. Good to know. And the small pile of red garnet dust can only be used to make red garnet dust. So basically, this item is useless and exists oh. purely to fill up my inventory. Yeah, I can think. I can think. Of a, I, I can think of a few people really that uh, might have something in common with that. Um, what? No, I was just explaining how this item exists purely to take up space, and how I know a couple of people uh, who would relate to that. Um, but looking at the ruby, just what like can I use? Player. No, no, you are a light in my world. Um, Yay! I can use it to make ruby tools. Holy sh! Socks, I just gave myself flashbacks. It's so hard not to Isn't swerve, Ruby by already the way. a tool? <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> it is. It really is. He's gonna hate you um, for saying that. I don't care. Uh, shush. Um, so, hey Ziha. Yeah? Do you want some ruby tools? Ugh. You could have that all to yourself. You're good. Okay. 
Uh, I'll tell you after the recording why that gave me, like, flashbacks. I think people, if they're dedicated enough to my lore, not like the character me, but like me, my lore, which technically is just called, um, you know, my, my, my history, my backstory, my past, you know. Your tragic they, past. They, yeah, if 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 I have the equivalent of Chris Channers out there in the audience, that's half a creeper. That's odd. Don't you go outside. Come full -sized. I usually come full sized. Um, I'm hiding in the attic now. I, mm, you know what? No, that'd be against TOS. Uh, but anyway, back on oh, track. Oh no, I can't say that. I can't say that. The... If, if I had my own version of the Chris Channers, they would know why. Uh, but for now, oh look at that! I don't even like mean it in the way that it said. I just hate it as a stem now. What? Mm. Say what is a stem? The thing I just said. What that you can't say that? Mhm. Mm uh, okay. Like no, the thing that I can't say. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's an unfortunate stem now. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I now have myself a common ruby sword. Did you see how it floated above the crafting table? I, I did. I think that's a really cool effect. Do you want any ruby armor? Um. Nah. So you, you're is, really just raw dog in life, ruby. Huh? The principle of it being ruby. Okay, my pickaxe has a dig of... It, it, you know what? It doesn't say. How do you compare how fast a pickaxe is again? Mm. 3.5 attack damage, 1.2 attack speed. 4 uh, attack damage. Okay, so it's quicker, but uh, less damage. Uh, so I'm just going to make some armor. I have a... Oh! Hey. Oh. Let's... I'm one ruby short of being able to craft any useful armor. All I can make is a helmet or later uh, boots. I'm gonna keep a hold of that until I can actually make something useful. Are we are we putting all of our stuff in the same chest? Yeah. Answer like two minutes ago because I've already made mixed stuff. <laughs> okay, so looking at our oh yeah, hitting K brings up your skill tree. Um, I, I got antinudy. You got what? Antinudy. That. What? Antimony. I have no idea what that is. What does what does antimony do? You can craft a block of antimony, or craft rather a block of raw antimony. But smelting it gives you an antimony ingot, which can then be used to make a block of antimony. That's it. I've actually never learned how to read. You can also turn it into dust, which can then be used to create an ingot. This, you, I'm finding uh, in this mod pack that a lot of stuff just doesn't have a reason to exist.